I think it's funny. I've had a lot of comments of folks thinking I'm getting paid by Coyote. I wish I was getting paid by Coyote. Believe me, that would be amazing, but I'm not. I, I feel like I'm on a mission to break down some barriers that are some old, long held on beliefs. And if you're hanging on to those beliefs and you're not changing with the times, you're gonna get left in the dust. You, everybody else basically give up. <laughs> Stop trying. That's like the most pathetic thing. I, that, that, that's All that does is make me wanna do the absolute opposite and then come back and crush you. You know, there was a video that came out recently and my wife said, don't give this person any credit. So I'm, it's like the guy from Harry Potter that you can't say his name. It's that kind of situation, but not really, but this is, I don't even care that much. I just feel like it needs a different viewpoint because it's kind of annoying. So there was a video out there that said that basically you shouldn't buy anything besides a John Deere or a Kubota. And there needs to be a tractor company that goes out of business. And there's a lot of different angles that you can take on a video like that. You know, there's some digs, some, some shots fired at YouTubers that work with companies to promote products, which I felt was really weird because this same person also sells a certain brand and promotes that product, so it's like the same thing, and they're on YouTube. Anyway, a lot of confliction there that is weird, but I think the, the main takeaway that I got is this viewpoint was you should only buy a John Deere or a Kubota and somebody else needs to go out of business, where my viewpoint is competition is good, right? And that could be at other tractor brands like Coyote, keeping John Deere and Kubota on their feet and starting to erode their market share. And they're still the kings of the hill, somebody's gotta be, but it's not always the case. There's gonna be new up and comers all the time, new startups. I mean, what a, what a negative statement to put out into the universe to say, <laughs> you, everybody else basically give up, <laughs> stop trying. That's like, the most pathetic thing I that, that, that's all that does is make me want to do the absolute opposite and then come back and crush you it's just that ridiculous of a statement and so I think in this what you're staring at now is a row of coyote tractors and if you would have seen my channel three years ago there would not have been a coyote anywhere and I've said it in videos and I've said it in to replies and in comments and to customers over the years that if there was a third place tractor for me coyote would be it and they just weren't there at the time the last time i was selling tractors to have enough market share and enough dealers and there's they're still not as big as kubota and deer but they're growing and they they've been in the u.s for around 40 years they've been in existence as a company for around 70 years you know they're they're making the tractors for Bobcat, so they, you know, they're, they're a big company. They're a big outfit. They have great capabilities. And I worked with Summit for a while. Summit was a brand new tractor startup, but they were based on another brand, right? Solus, all right, or ITL. And they tweaked it to make it their own and made some modifications. And so it was based on something that was existing, but it was marketed towards the US market to fill that void. And I think that was a really smart way to do it and how they went about marketing at a different angle and capturing a different segment of the tractor world that was hard to reach before and, and breaking down barriers and how you can finance it and buy a tractor and have it delivered right to you. You know, and, and dealers these days, it's, well, my, my JCB just got back out of service under warranty. Under warranty service took a month and it cost me $1,300 between the time of the field call and then transportation to and from and everything else that that warranty cost me, service work cost me $1,300. You know, when I have, we had a John Deere that had to go in, get scheduled for service. One dealer was a month out, the other dealer was two months out. I mean, these aren't, this is John Deere. This is the number one market share company in the compact world, and they're taking one to two months to service a tractor. You know, I mean, I had the same issues with Kubota. I had the same issues with, with Ford, with Polaris, you name it, right? So I, I feel like I'm on a mission to break down some barriers that are some old, long held on beliefs and if you're hanging on to those beliefs and you're not changing with the times you're gonna get left in the dust and it can be tough to let those go because you've told yourself the same thing over and over for years maybe you grew up on john deere tractors and i it's not that i i don't dislike john deere i don't dislike a boat i just bought a brand new stinking Kubota tractor i love the john deere 30 333g i love the john deere 1025r i love a lot of things about Kubota and John Deere, but you got to open your eyes 
to what else is out there. And I'm not talking about yet TYM, LS, Mahindra, some of these other brands. I, I think that they are moving majorly in the right direction. I really do. And you're gonna see that chip away at Kubota and Deer as more people are out there and social media does its thing, both, both when it's tied to a, a manufacturer relationship and both just from actual owners having it. And there's a good reason for that because you're, you're paying less money, you're still getting a reliable machine. Compact tractors are simple machines. They are not complicated. So if you're getting more bang for your buck, paying less money, getting more lift capacity on the loader, more lift height, more lift capacity on the three point, you know, bigger, heavier tractor as well, all for less money on something that's gonna have very few problems anyways. And then you're gonna get the same kind of dealer support as what you can get on a John Deere Kubota. Competition is good. That's a good thing. That's showing you right there that they're living off a of reputation. The big two are living on a reputation and for a Kubota dealer to come out and say that that's all you should buy is one of those big two is a bit of being on the defense and a bit of, well, hey, we've been around for the longest time, but remember when Kubota came into the States, nobody knew about them. They were the odd man out too and they built their way from the bottom on up as well. So that should be a blueprint that others can use to do the exact same thing. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Now I think if you wanna watch a fully in-depth, kind of all-encompassing response, to that video, watch Brock's video from Rock Hill Farm. Very, very, I couldn't have said any of it better myself. The area that I wanted to focus on being a tractor dealer myself, I don't have a relationship with Coyote, none. I will say though, I actually reached out to Coyote to see what the dealer opportunities look like because that's how much I believe in them. I bought a brand new Coyote for myself. This is all my own hard earned money here that you see sitting on this lot representing this with the business risk, I guess, of being able to resell these tractors the same way that I do a Kubota or a Deer. And people are buying them up because they recognize that value. So the tides are changing, all right? And things are not gonna be the same as they were yesterday. They're gonna be different tomorrow, the day after that. And if you look at that bigger scale, right? One, two, three, five, 10, 20 years from now, the market is gonna be different. And who knows, maybe, maybe Kubota and John Deere still are kings of the hill. I would bet it's a totally different breakout though in the amount of market share that each one of those companies has. And I think that we will probably will see in some manner or fashion, I don't really know who or what, but there's, there are probably too many brands right now. It's the same thing that happens in any industry, right? You get so many and then the smaller ones tend to consolidate or get gobbled up by the big ones. Maybe you have one that goes out of business here and there, but there's a lot of consolidation. They get rolled in together, kind of like how Branson I uh, got bought up by TYM. It just kind of, it's just the nature of business, right? So that's the good thing though, is that with like Coyote and Kubota, or I'm um, sorry, Coyote and Bobcat, for example, there's commonality in the parts there, right? So if, if one did disappear, for example, there's a, there's a good chance that the bigger company is still gonna have parts available for it. Same thing with LS and New Holland, right? LS makes all the tractors for New Holland. It's gives you more opportunities to go to other dealers and get the parts and support that you might need. Maybe a bigger network down the road to, to, to sell it to, to people that are familiar with one of those two brands. And so there's good things that come out of these, these smaller little fish that are out there swimming around too. So to me, in the grand scheme of things, the competition is good because, well, that's one of the reasons I started selling the Coyotes is thinking about reselling tractors when I got back into it, a lot of these Kubotas and John Deere's are such high price points now, as we've gone through all the crazy inflation through the pandemic that folks already thought these tractors were un unattainable and unaffordable and something that's just a, a pipe dream they'll never be able to experience. And to have something that's quality at 
I guess, like a pre-pandemic price point, maybe even better than that, with a good, solid brand like Coyote is a game changer. It, it kind of gives you some hope, again, that you can get into a tractor, a capable tractor, not something that's undersized, but something that could do more than one of those dream tractors you had in your wall from Kubota or Deer and get it at a lower price point. Know you have the reliability and the peace of mind to go along with it. And so that for me was, I'm excited about it. I really am, I think it's a great thing. Um, they're here to stay. Like I say, this is not a startup. I am not affiliated with Coyote in any way. I, th I think it's funny. I've had a lot of comments of folks thinking I'm getting paid by Coyote. I wish I was getting paid by Coyote. Believe me, that would be amazing but I'm not. There's nothing wrong with getting paid to market. I'm, I'm, I'm paid to market right now. I'm, I'm, I pay myself, right? When these tractors sell, that's me getting paid to market. I believe in the products that I sell. I let the, the, the features, I let the machines, whether it's the attachments, you know, or the tractors, wherever it is, I tell you what's good about them. I tell you what's bad about them. And I let it speak for itself. And then I let you make the decision. And so I, I just, it was time to introduce these into the fold. And that's my take on why I think competition is good and you should consider something else besides a Kubota or a John Deere. On that note, if you're in the market for a tractor or an attachment, we'd love to help you out. We ship them all over the nation every day of the week. Go to goodworkstractors.com to see what we have to offer. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.